Oh, it's an obvious first question. Can we get his thoughts on, on what he thinks of Nick Diaz not showing up today? Uh, what do you think about Nick not appearing today? What? Do Nick know he's here? I think the, uh, the same problem, me. When I come to here, I lost my flyer. I think the same to Nick. I don't know. Interesting. But, I mean, obviously Nick didn't feel obligated to be here today, but you put on a show. Was that because Nick wasn't here that you put on such an extended workout today? No. Eu sempre faço isso. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, he always puts on a show like that. Every time he does an open workout. Well, how does it feel to be back and to have all the fans again watching? Does it, how does it feel for you? What's this insane to fans aqui assistindo você agora? I'm very happy and very exciting. Do you like the way the Las Vegas crowd welcomed you today? Yeah. Absolutely. Good dinner. Is it kind of disrespectful that Nick didn't come to workouts today and, and you did? I think the Nick uh, lost the flyer. But the flight, the the, flight. and Nick's come. This is no, no disrespect to public. It doesn't bother you that, that you came and he didn't come? Uh, Eu acho que os fãs gostariam que ele estivesse aqui, mas ele perdeu o voo, isso é normal, né? Eu também perdi o voo. Era pra gente ter saído de Los Angeles é, às 11 horas da manhã e a gente saiu de Los Angeles às 7 da noite. Yeah, he said that um, basically it's, it's, you know, the fans are the ones that missed out, you know, and that, that's unfortunate, but it's not like he, you know, he, he missed his flight and whatever he's got going on, so it's just unfortunate for the fans. He seems very, very loose today. Você está muito relaxado. Você não parece que você está muito preocupado com a tua volta. Na verdade, eu estou feliz com a minha volta, né? É, é, assim, só o fato de eu estar pisando aqui de novo, depois de um ano, depois de tudo que aconteceu, o um ano horrível que eu passei, eu acho que eu tenho que estar feliz e agradecer a Deus e pedir para Ele só me dá sabedoria para lidar com tudo isso de novo e seguir em frente. He says I'm very happy after this year that I've had and the horrible things that I went through over the past year. I'm just very happy, and very excited, and <laughs> and I just pray to God that for Him to lead me through uh, this fight. Uh, and you know I'm happy to be back. The lake is, the lake is 100%. That you know, he doesn't think about it. Você não pensa da tua perna tá 100%? Não, agora eu não penso mais nisso. No passado. Yeah, he says he doesn't think about it anymore. That's in the past. What was the hardest part about this training camp on a physical level? Qual é a parte mais difícil na parte física desse campo? Acho que a parte mais difícil foi a fisioterapia, né? Para voltar a força da perna, agilidade nos movimentos. Isso foi um pouquinho mais difícil. He said the hard, most difficult part was his physical therapy to, to build up the strength that he lost in that leg, and that was probably the most difficult part. He said there was a there was a rumor a few weeks ago on Twitter that you got knocked out in training. Can you address that rumor? Uh, I thought that there was more of a fofoca that you were going to get knocked out. Yeah, Khalil, give me a kick in, in the face. You got, you got knocked out? Yeah. I know yeah. why he is. Yeah. yeah. Seriously? It's yours. Okay. Yeah. Did you feel okay after that? Were, were you okay? Yeah. When I finished the training, I go to paintball and I shoot in Khalil. <laughs> so it made you feel better to shoot at him? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm the best man by this When When was that, Anderson? When was that? Two, two weeks ago? When did you go? I kind of. How long ago that was? No, that, that, he was in training. I'm joking, was, like, man. Joking. I'm joking. Yeah, he's not. He's joking. That's why I'm like, I'm just... So you're joking, you weren't But, but so Skalil is the next champion. 185. Yeah. What's the last name? Khalil Roundtree. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is the next fight in the RFA. Yeah, you said before that your family was very worried and concerned about you coming back into uh, the sport. How do they feel about it now? Ah, the family was talking about it, that was preocupada about it, and how are they feeling now? They are still concerned, right? Khalil, my son, he doesn't want to leave him. So I had to get out of him. I mean, they're still worried. Uh, his son Khalil still doesn't want uh, him to fight, but uh, he said I had to run away from him when he wanted to talk to me about it. All of his fights, but because of what he's gone through, was this the most important fight of his life? Ele falou que todos os lutas têm certa importância, mas essa luta é a mais importante da tua vida, considerando tudo que você passou nesse último ano. 
eu acho que nesse momento é, né? Eu acho que é, depois que passavam, vir outras, todas elas foram importantes. Essa, nesse momento, é a mais importante, sim. He says all his fights, uh, he agrees, uh, are, have been very important, but at this moment in his life, this definitely is the most important. Uh, and then after this fight, uh, he'll have to see what comes up. But right now, at this moment, yes, it's the most important fight of his month. Thank you, everybody.